Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jason with Pest Hunter Outdoors, enjoying my day off here, my last day of vacation. And I got home and figured I'd just do a uh, quick little video of the, the garden here. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the garden. It has been about 10 days, so yeah, my yard is a little bit overgrown for 10 days. All right, let's get you guys swip, swap uh, around here. And my little tomatoes here are doing okay. Uh, apparently, they forgot to water my ground cherries. I got two of them, and they both did not survive, unfortunately. But this other squash here is doing wonderful. I need to get them in the ground. Yeah, they grow fast. Didn't get a chance to get them in the ground. Sorry for the traffic noise. And let's see, I got this potato here growing. And yeah, let's see. As you can see, I got some potatoes growing, which is good. And look at some of these here. Oh, wow. Some of those are actually pretty good size. Look at the size of that one. Let's see if there's any more in here. Yeah, no, that's just those ones on the surface right there. So that's not bad. Could use a little bit more sun, but that was just an experiment trying right there up against the house. Yeah, don't mind the long grass, the sticks laying on the ground. As you can see, all my carrots here are doing pretty good here. I wonder if they're producing any large roots yet. I cannot tell. All this foliage in the way, probably not yet. But the ground is nice and moist. And I already did some harvesting of some of the squash. I got one pan squash so far. And I'll include the photos of the zucchini and the pan squash. And apparently they didn't pick them when they were small enough, so they got pretty large. The Armenian cucumber here is doing pretty well. And let's see. And then I got some pretty large tomatoes here too so oh wow look at that one going hopefully that was gonna be good yeah when I got home everything was a little bit droopy had to give it some water let's come over here to the other side over here as you can see it's getting much much taller Excuse me. And here is the um, was it the the Russian mammoth sunflowers are starting to get going here. I got some of the corn here. Let's go this way right here. And a certain tassel. I'm getting lots of uh, bees. I'm getting little tiny little years of corn. As you can see right there, there's some going now. Yeah, I planted the, the sunflowers here to protect them, the corn against the wind. So most of the pollen will actually fall down on the ears of corn. Look at the size of some of these squash plants here. Let's see if we can find any in here real quick here. Just a quick check. And none on that one. Yeah, I pulled a big squash off of this one, excuse me, zucchini. And you see they're getting pretty good size. Still getting lots of blooms, which is good. As you can see here, some of these squash are getting pretty good size. All the nice blooms here, There's a, they've already bloomed for the day. Hopefully they got pollinated. Something was in here earlier. Smashed all these. These were sitting upwards, upright, when I harvested yesterday. Let's see. Ooh, looks like we got one here that might have taken. It's pretty good. And like I said, these things are almost up to my waist. Oh, there's one that'll be ready here in a few days. Right there. The 
course the corn's getting a lot larger. Got lots of tomato plants. Unfortunately, some of my uh, daikon radish here bolted while I was gone. So, I'll be able to collect the seeds on these this year and use these for uh, next year's uh, seeds. So I'll have a lot of radishes next year. I only got like 25, 30 uh, seeds to start with. I gave some to Cliff. And let's see. Uh, got some more of the squash here. Got the tomatoes that are doing really well. Let's see, you got the line of squash here, tomatoes. The little sweet peppers are starting to grow really, really well. The ones I'm having troubles with right now are the tapines. Let's see. And the tomatillos are doing really, really well. Eggplants starting to do well. I believe those ones are the purple ones here. Or the green. That's going to be the green tomatillos. Eggplant. Purple tomatillos. Can't wait to try those out. Then I'm trying these lemon cucumbers here. We'll see how well those these do. I'll probably have a, a, a trellis up here soon for them. We got one, two, three, four. Looks like maybe four of the teepeens that have made it so far through transplant and through me not being here to water them and to watch them. Then I have the beef cake. Or excuse me, the beef steak uh, tomatoes here, and those are all going to be the uh, rainbows. And the radishes here, and then uh, the okra is not doing all too well. I got one bloom, so maybe we'll get to. Uh, I might let it uh, bloom and go to seed, and then uh, I'm starting to have more seeds for next year. And that's about it for today, folks. Apple trees I gotta be planting next week. So, oh, almost forgot these over here. I believe Mother Law put in some pumpkins and watermelons here. So we'll see how well those turn out. Alrighty. Let's see if I can remember to put that picture of the harvest I got earlier. Let me turn this thing around. And I almost forgot. Got my composting pile down here. And then I have another one over here behind that tarp. So that way I'm trying to get uh, some nutrients for the soil for next year. And like I said, this is only my second year attempting the gardening here in the uh, deep southeast of Texas. Alright, and... I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend. Please stay safe out there. And always remember, get outside, do something outside, whether it be gardening or taking pictures of wildlife. Just get outside. And everybody, have a wonderful day. Here's the harvest that I got. I got a uh, pan squash here, pretty good size here. That's actually the size that you're actually looking for. The zucchinis got a little bit too large. They didn't pick them. They waited for me to come home and pick them. So those will probably turn into, uh, uh, cut them in half, turn them into like a boat, put some sausage, egg, and cheese in there, like a like an omelet type thing, bake it in there, or almost like a quiche maybe. These are the size that you're actually looking for, for making pretty good zucchini food. Uh, you know, cut them and make fried zucchinis, or zucchini wedges, or put them into like a stir fry. And then that one, is almost too big so this one here I'll probably end up battering and deep frying that one I figured I'll show you guys my first harvest here at uh, my homestead all right everybody everybody have a good weekend